Hey, my name is Paul Oleg. I am the Chief Ranger. I'm the Chief of Interpretation and Education here at the National Mall and Memorial Parks. Um, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I actually grew up in Minnesota, but DC is the 16th state I've lived in in the last 20 years. Uh, so I tend to move around a lot and a lot of park rangers tend to do that, bouncing from park to park to park. That's one of the great things of working for the National Park Service is to be able to have lots of different experiences. This is actually the sixth national park that I've worked at. Um, most of my others have been out west in Glacier, Yosemite, Kenai Fjords up in Alaska. Um, so how I ended up as a ranger on the National Mall uh, was for this particular job. I had a great opportunity to apply to be the Chief Ranger here uh, at the National Mall and bring some of my experience from these big western parks to this urban center here in DC. Um, and it was an opportunity that I just could not pass up. So here I am on the National Mall. Um, now since I've been here, um, my favorite place on the National Mall is actually one of the places that I decided where I decided to apply and put my resume in for this position, and that's on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, being able to sit there with your back against one of the columns and see and feel the people. You see the Washington Monument and the Capitol in the distance. Uh, there are very few places in the country that are as evocative as that spot sitting on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Every single season has a little bit different feel to it here in D.C. And my favorite season is the springtime. After the snows have melted, um, the, the leaves are starting to bud on the trees, and then something truly magical happens here on the National Mall, and that is the explosion of color with the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And to see the thousands of cherry trees just explode in pinks and whites around the Tidal Basin, um, all, all along Haynes Point and East Potomac Park. It is absolutely one of my favorite times here on the National Mall. And along with that, one of my favorite organized activities on the mall is, to, is the, the Cherry Blossom Festival itself. There are so many activities going on, such great opportunities to, to interact with, with the park and to explore the park. Um, one of my favorite interpretive programs are the evening lantern tours, the ranger-led lantern tours uh, that we do here in the park. Um, that is such a great opportunity to experience it in a way that most people don't get a chance to. So walking around with a ranger uh, with those lanterns and experiencing the Cherry Blossom Festival that way. One of the most unique, I'll call it unique instead of strange, is the explosion of Pokemon Go this past August and the, the influx of thousands and thousands of people playing this game and then realizing that the National Mall was a great place to play Pokemon. And our ability to engage with, those, with the Pokemon players and not only help them continue to fall in love with this game, but help them fall in love with the National Mall, the place that they were playing it. And in fact, the FDR Memorial is still the place in Washington DC to go to play Pokemon Go, uh, which is phenomenal. We've never seen the FDR Memorial be so as popular as it is right now with the Pokemon community. So that's uh, just a fabulous thing, the FDR Memorial. Um, it's, uh, it's such a narrative experience and it covers, each of these rooms covers a different one of the president's uh, terms of office. So it goes from the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression all the way through World War II and all the different things that FDR did to help raise the country out of the depths of this tragic depression and prepare for the, the, the um, tremendous challenge of World War II. And a lot of the things that he struggled with through that time, it's, just, it's so narrative. It's such a great place to explore a lot of these different meanings about what it means to be an American president, what it means to be an American, and to overcome adversity. Um, so FDR Memorial, absolutely great place to, to do a tour. A combination of a lot of different little pieces, um, bits and pieces of the Cherry Blossom Festival, standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial during the National Fourth of July celebration and the firework display, um, being a part of the 
the world's largest National Park Service arrowhead emblem during the National Park Service Centennial. Um, there are a lot of those moments that I, it's a really impossible for me to pick just one as far as my favorite National Mall memory. They all just mean so much to me. Now, if interpretive rangers could have one superpower, what would it be? And uh, this was a tough one. I thought initially uh, maybe the power to multiply ourselves so that we can talk to even more people. Uh, there are 33 million people that come to the National Mall every year, and it's hard for the 70 rangers that we have here to talk to all of them. So being able to multiply ourselves would be great. Um, but, you know, um, somebody recommended uh, maybe the superpower of talking to, uh, talking to ghosts and talking to past visitors and past people that, are experienced, that, are, that have been here, past presidents. That might be a really cool superpower to have as well. Well, absolutely, the one that I would want to be a part of is the March on Washington in, 19, in 1963. Uh, being able to stand along the side of the reflecting pool and look up at the steps and hear those iconic words of Dr. King and to be a part of the energy of that crowd and to be inspired um, by him, that is absolutely um, the one point that I, if I could go back to in time to one spot, um, a flag that was folded up and placed on uh, against the wall at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And I was just walking through, I was in uniform, uh, just doing some rounds, and I was walking through there, and there was a gentleman in a wheelchair that was right in front of that. And, and he saw me kneel down to take a look at this flag, and there was a letter uh, right next to it, uh, and a frame with a, uh, a medal, uh, an army medal in it. And as I stood up and I turned around and I saw him, I waved and said hi, and we, I started talking to him about his experience in Vietnam with his brother and what it means to him to be able to come here and leave this flag and this medal and to see his brother's name on the wall. It was one of the most powerful moments uh, of my life and one of the most memorable connections to this really powerful part of our history um, and to be able to interact with him and, and hear him share his story with me. Um, and the story of this flag and this medal. Um, those were absolutely uh, some of the most memorable items. To me, the National Mall is a place where all of us can learn how to be a better American. Here at this place, we revere people like Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, FDR, Martin Luther King Jr. These are iconic, legendary figures of, of, the, um, of American history that helps to create the country that we are today. And by exploring this and learning about these individuals and learning about the things that they did and the challenges that they overcome and the ideals that they stood for helps all of us to reflect on our role in the great American democracy and what we can do to help America be better. And so that's what the National Mall means to me. It's a place for all of us to reflect on what it means to be an American, what it means to learn from the people that we have created these memorials to and carry that forward um, to create the America that we all want and deserve. One of the best parts of being a ranger is it's one of the best jobs in the world. You know, I get to be here and help people fall in love with a place that I love. You can't get much better than that uh, for a job. And being able to tell the stories of people like Thomas Jefferson and Martin Luther King and FDR and George Washington and all the events that take place here and all of the stories uh, that have happened here, um, that it's, and helping people just to learn about the significance and learn how to love this place. So that's me. Uh, I'm one of the rangers here on the National Mall. My name is Paul, and uh, I hope that this gave you a little bit of insight into what it means, what goes into actually being a park ranger here at the National Mall and Memorial Parks. So thank you very much.